Hey, this is Rob and Phil with Road Dirt, and we have acquired a pair of Cardo Pat Talk Slim uh, intercom systems for helmets. And we thought we would show you some of the features of it, some of the parts that come with it when you buy one of these, and uh, some installation tips, as I've already installed it in mine, and uh, we're gonna attempt to install it in Phil's as well. So, ready to get this thing started? Yeah, man, I think what would be cool, though, would be to show you exactly what you get in the box when you buy this single. You can buy it as a single unit. You can buy it as two up. If you have uh, someone that rides with you often, you can use the intercom for uh, on one bike. Yep. But um, they've done a great job on the packaging. I am, uh, it's probably no surprise, I'm an Apple fanboy, and they've really kind of taken a, a page out of Apple's book as far as packaging, so it's very well packaged the way they do it. In the box, the single unit comes equipped with the actual intercom unit here itself. So you get that, and then it's wrapped around some foam where you've got actually your cabling and your, your uh, transmitter device here. You get on into the packaging a little bit more. You get some additional brackets, a beautiful little sticker there, which is handy. <laughs> you get some installation instructions here. And wow, we got four, four booklets here. And then you also get, you can see a nice little package here with other brackets and cabling and microphones to install it. So we've yeah, got they, quite it a comes bit of with stuff a couple here. Of different, comes with a couple of different kind of mics I discovered. Is one is for like an open face helmet or a half helmet that can be mounted and then for full face, you know, just the mic itself that you can actually mount on the inside right there. Yeah, it gives so. you several different options for it. So. Yeah, so they really thought about a lot of different configurations of helmets for bikes. You've got these handy dandy Velcro pads, you've got microphones, you've got speakers to go for the ears. So yeah, this is gonna be very cool. I've never had uh, an intercom on my helmet. So I'm looking Cool thing about to it too is uh, the speakers in it are JBL speakers. So these True. are not just, you know, cheapo, no-name brand speakers. Run of the mill, yeah. So. And uh, when you use them, you can really, you can really tell. They've got a, they've got a nice uh, sound quality. Even though you're in, in a helmet at speed, you've got a lot of outside wind noise. They've, it's, it's got a good sound to it. So um, yeah. what we did first was um, we did a little bit of a study on just some of the features of the Pack Talk Slim. Um, and, of course, it serves as a, an intercom between... Uh, units they have a what's called mesh technology. Uh, what did you learn about mesh technology when you read up on it? Uh, in looking at the unit and and the technology that they built into this, um, their um, their mesh technology uh, allows you to really connect to numerous devices at once. So if you had a large group like yeah. maybe ten or twelve guys, you could actually connect up to I believe it's fifteen different devices. So you could have That's an entire crazy. ride of guys all speaking back and Everybody forth to each other, the same all on the same device. Yeah, so that's yeah. really pretty cool, in my opinion. Because I mean, when it, uh, who doesn't need to be able to communicate every now and then, right? When you're when you're in a big group of people and you're riding, and somebody's got to stop for a various reason. So um, yeah, but you've got three different modes on the device, and we'll get into the detail here in a little bit. But you can connect it to your phone, to your yeah. music. Uh, and it also has voice commands too. So, and you can use voice commands through Bluetooth to your uh, mobile device, be it an iPhone or an Android. So, one of the things you need to do as well when you get the uh, uh, Cardo, any of the Cardo units, is go to your app store and download the Cardo app because that really makes your phone uh, pretty much sync up with everything. Right. I, I discovered after I got mine installed and I went to the sto app store, downloaded it. Man, I could sync all my contacts. I could I could call anybody from it, uh, receive calls from them. Uh, I synced up um, not only the music on my phone, but I was able to switch it and sync up with a Spotify account. Uh, it'll activate various other apps on your phone. Um, so, and, and the thing I really liked about it was the voice commands. Yeah. You always have to say, hey, Cardo, and then you give a command, um, and it'll activate it for you. Right. So, uh, a lot of great features, I, and the, the fact that you can, you know, of course, um, you know, listen to music and make and receive calls and change apps and communicate with up to 15 riders on this thing. Yeah. That's pretty pretty remarkable. It's quite a, quite a piece of equipment. So yeah, so it should be a lot of fun. I'm yeah, yeah. excited about getting into it here. One of the things I, I thought we would do first, um, I actually installed mine. I've got a Bell qualifier helmet, and. Um, I discovered a little bit of an issue with mine. Um, 
My helmet actually comes with a, uh, a little side insert for like a Sena or a, or a Bell um, brand intercom system. And uh, of course, the Pack Top Slim obviously is not built for that. It doesn't fit in it. But because of the fact I've got this little inset, I ran into a problem that Phil is probably not going to run into on his. And uh, you won't run into unless you've got something like this as well, is that um, the actual cord between the intercom and the, and, the, and the power unit is kind of small. And I wasn't able to stretch it all the way over here. There's not enough of it. Gotcha. And uh, it actually had to insert kind of loosely underneath and uh, where you know, where uh, another SANA unit or something like that might go. But um, I, and I was afraid because it, it seems kind of loose right there that at speed I might have problems with it blowing out. Um, but it hasn't yet. It, it um, you know, it's actually served well, but it's so far back where I really can't activate it effectively with my hands, especially in the wintertime with gloves. thick gloves, yeah. um, which is why the voice commands have come in especially handy. I when I get this thing going, that's and I'm out riding with it. That's all I've done is use voice commands, and because of the app, it works perfect. So I haven't really had any issues with it sitting that far back um, on my helmet. So, but it is pretty low profile sitting on the side. Yeah, it really is, especially you know the slim one. Yeah, um, it, it's very really, uh, you know it's, it sits back there really nice and doesn't really catch wind or anything. So uh, it's worked out for me. It's worked out really well. Good deal so far. Looking forward to getting mine connected so you yeah, can ride and chat while we're riding. That's man. right, man. Should be cool. So um, I thought we would go through now kind of uh, some install tips uh, as we learn. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is pop out your helmet liner. We already started that in Phil's helmet. And um, they all have little snaps and straps. Uh, I mean, little snaps and Velcro that pops right out each piece independently comes out on both sides like this and then you'll also need to remove the back as well it should pop right out or in this case looks like it is just pops out in the rear and you roll it forward and that way you can run all the wires on both sides all right all right now in mine what I ended up having to do because I've actually got what, like a, a mesh right back here. So I actually installed my two speakers um, behind the pad. But if you look at Phil's here, um, we don't need to actually install them behind there because he's got just kind of a, it, it's kind of a foam piece here that what I think we can do here is actually just install another adapter they give you. It just fits it right on the outside right up closer to his ears and it'll that way he can actually reposition it if he wants and the speakers will actually fit and mount right on those which i think will work really well and then the whole thing will actually reinstall back inside we'll get him in here and get him positioned first like that and then the speakers, the speaker wire will actually run around through the back. And the wire here, we will flip this around and run it behind the, the back pad. That. All right, so we've got all the, the wires run behind the liner and everything, and uh, we've snapped the speakers together. I think it's, it's pieces right back here. Uh, and then the microphone snapped around right about over here somewhere. So we put all the liner back in, got it all shaped and back as it should be on both sides, looking good. And uh, the unit now is all plugged together. And we put this adapter on it because it seems like of the of the adapters we had, this was the one that looked like it would fit the most securely. And his is going to have to fit um, not on this side of the liner like mine. His is going to have to fit between this this outer liner and the inner liner. And I think it should go in. Yeah, 
There we go. Fits right in like that, so that's good. And then you tuck away some of the wires underneath that little portion. And then the intercom unit got a little bit extra right here so we can actually slide his right there. And it looks like we can either make room, he can put it back here if he wants or um, a little bit closer than it's able to be on mine. And uh, that's fairly secure. I don't think that's gonna move. That's gonna be a, uh, a better reach actually than even on mine is. So it's good. So that is the Cardo Pack Talk Slim. And uh, different helmets, different configurations, different adapters, different amounts of finagling you might have to do to get it to work in there. But we've got them on mine, got them on Phil's. And the only thing left to do now is uh, in an upcoming video, we'll actually get out on the road and communicate yeah. and uh, share some more of the features that, that we learn about it as we ride with it, give an evaluation of how well they communicate with each other. So what are your thoughts? Any closing thoughts? Yeah, I think uh, I think the install went much better than I thought it would, you know, and um, they, they've got so many different brackets and, and elements in the kit to really help you kind of work your way around whatever your helmet configuration looks like. It, it really would, it really makes it a little bit easier. So, uh, but yeah, like you said, the best part is coming up. We get to ride and test them out. That's so right, ride them excited and about them out. that. And of course, if you've got a helmet that you have some problems and some issues with it, um, the, the Cardo people, they have customer service lines and, uh, and, and also you can email them questions and things like that. And they're very willing to help uh, walk you through any concerns, any any obstacles that you may have as well. So um, they're, uh, they're good for that as well. So this is Rob and Phil with Road Nerd. Uh, Cardo Pack Talk Slim Evaluation, part one, part two coming soon. Until then, bye bye.